You may be somebody right now that's going through a period of time where you're questioning things, where you don't know if God is going to move, how he says is going to move in your life, where you don't know if it's happening, where you are unsure if you're headed in the right direction. This is your confirmation that you are exactly on God's perfect and divine timing and you're exactly where you need to be right now in this present moment, right? You need to stay where you're at because blessings are connected to places. You need to stay doing what you're doing and being on business and knowing that it's very effective. Faith without works is dead. God sees the faith. He sees the work. You feel me? You may fail a few times, but we all fall down. But it's all about, okay, cool. I got to get back up now. When I know better, I do better. Somebody, I need you to not only be knowing better, but I need you to also do better because you have to know that faith is things that we cannot see and evidence of things hope for. Hebrews 11, 1. You have to let your faith be strong in your fears. You have to walk by faith and not by sight meaning you got to keep going keeping on going for your vision your dreams your goal i'm rich because if god gave it to you heaven and earth shall pass away my word shall not turn unto me void luke 20 and 33 heaven and earth shall pass away but god's word will never turn unto a void if god said something to you if he spoke it out his mouth if he gave you a dream a vision a goal i'm rich you got to keep going for that because where there's no vision of people perish you have to know everybody don't have a vision that they're going for everybody don't have something that they're going after in life so if they don't believe in themselves they don't love themselves and take care of themselves things of that manner or if they don't have what you have or not trying to get what you're trying to get in life you shall not get survival skill because they can't do it to themselves how can they do it for you so you got to know i got to get on my own timing i got to know that i have to live with me for the rest of my life that means nobody can be you and you can't be nobody else that means you have to take advantage of your 24 hours there's no such thing as the perfect time i have to go after what i know is what's right for my life because like Many have sight if you have vision. One more time. Many have sight if you have vision. Everybody got sight. Everybody can see something, right? But everybody ain't got a vision, a dream, a goal, admiration. It's something that they pushing for, a goal that they going for in this life. Something that they're trying to obtain and maintain in this life. Because you can always obtain things, but are you trying to maintain things in this life, right? So everybody is not you. Don't get survival skill, meaning don't feel bad. Don't feel like you have to bring everybody with you. Because one thing about God is that God don't bless mess. God will not bless that mess because they ain't on what you are. Everybody don't have the same mindset as you. Everybody don't have the same heart as you. Everybody ain't moving like you. Everybody ain't trying to do what you're trying to do. Everybody don't want to be on what you are trying to be on in life everybody not willing to elevate and grow some people are comfortable in cash some people comfortable like some people are comfortable in that low place and they believe you belong in that low place with them these people are dead meaning they have no dream no vision no goal admiration nothing that they're going after in their life that like i said many have sight and few have vision and where there's no vision that people perish everybody don't have a vision everybody don't want to go for that because they don't believe in themselves so if they like it for themselves how they gonna have it for you you have to know that i gotta live with me for the rest of my life and this is my world and that i'm living in my world this is your world you are main character you got to move like you got that main character energy like you got that main character spirit like this is that main character atmosphere that you're living in because it is everybody don't have the same perception the same reality as you because everybody ain't knowing that they create their reality with their thoughts and with their words because you, as a man think of so is he life depths in the power of the tongue your thoughts and your words and things of that man are foreign power into your reality but just know that you are exactly where god needs to be needs you to be you have the power to speak life and death and think life and death over yourself think life and speak life over your situation and over your mind your body and your soul because if you're feeding yourself negativity if you're feeding yourself doubt worry fear anxiety depression it's all about what are you consuming yourself with the eyes of the windows to soul what are you watching on social media what are you doing are you acquiring information because we all acquire information whether we recognize or not we all gain more wisdom not to understanding things that that matter on a daily basis but are we applying the information that we're acquiring? Are we knowing better and doing better? Because if you don't know better and do better, if you don't believe in yourself, if you're not comfortable with facing your demons, if you're not comfortable with facing the truth, if you're comfortable living a lie and comfortable in that low place and content where you're at in life, then you will remain stagnated. God don't bless mess. Do you hear me? So you got to know, do not get survivors gift for other people. Do you hear me? Because God will allow your blessings to be stagnated or allow your blessings to be laid or even blocked. Not because he wants you to suffer, but because he wants you to know that everybody can't go where you trying to go because yeah they can have all the money in the world all the clout in the world whatever whatever so you may have it in the world they can have the worldly things but god is not a man of this world god is a god who puts you in this world because you are in this world you are not of this world one more time somebody you are in this world you're not of this world so if you're conforming to the ways of this world then god will allow you to just conform and be content where you at because god needs you yeah but he ain't gonna keep trying to push and push and push for you to do better if you know better already because he already placed the wisdom not to understand on the inside of you things that i mean provision on the inside of you so it's like you have to ask him to show you what's on the inside of you not give it to you because you already have it it's in you and not only that's why people don't like you it's in you not only that's why they intend by the use in you and i don't wait that's what's trying to stop you people don't attack something that is nothing they're going to attack what you have and what you got going on and who you are in your life because they want you to feel less than they want you to be in that little place with them they don't want you to go where they're not going people like to see you do a good but not better than people that's not going nowhere want you to go nowhere with them completely you gotta know if they ain't on the same thing you are you gotta let them go because money just because they got everything in the world key word like i said in the world does not mean that they can get into the same rooms that you get into just because you may not have the things they have the cars 
the clothes, the shoes, the house, the money, whatever, does not mean that you don't have the favor. See, they got favoritism. They got to search for it. Favoritism. Favor is what you have. It's in you and not on you. You already have the favor. You already have God in your life. When you have favor, you don't need the things of this world. The things of this world don't shake you, move you, break you, stop you, none of that. Because you recognize that the, the fulfillment comes from God, comes from the most high. You recognize that people search for fulfillment in these things, in these places, in these people, and they're codependent. Like, for example, they feel like they always need to be in a relation or they feel like designer and money make them real. No, being real is having pure heart, pure intentions, pure motives, and going for God. Being real is not searching for things in this world and trying to acquire things on earth because one day we all have to go, whether we know when we're going or not. We really don't know our time, so we have to live our lives to the fullest. But we got to recognize, like it says in the book of Matthew, storing up treasures in heaven or storing up treasures on earth. If you storing up your treasures in heaven, in the spiritual side of things, and you looking above, if focus on things above and not below, then you will acquire these things because you focus as well on your health, health as well, mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally. And you knowing that the fulfillment comes from the Lord and not these things, because these things on earth can be stolen. These things of this world can be taken. These things of this world can go like this, right? Your, the car can go like this. The spouse can go like this. The money can go like this. The fame can go like this and so on and so forth, right? So you got to know. I got to keep focusing on God and what's going to serve me and what's going to get me to new levels. Because, yes, when new levels come, new devils. But God gave you authority to trample on service. God gave you authority to conquer new devils on new levels because you are powerful. You're more powerful than you think. No one feels strong. You cannot allow people that's not on what you're on. The people that feel low about themselves and nothing to themselves. They don't believe in themselves. They don't love themselves and things of that manner to put you in a low place with them because you don't belong there. God gave you authority to be the above and not the below, the head and not the tail, the first and not the last. He gave you authority to be the lender and not the borrower. The last shall be first and the first shall be last. And you always been in first place. People may have may try to make you feel last. They may have mistreated you and misunderstood you. But people can't understand what God has his hand on. They're not going to be able to understand because God got his hand on you. And God's hand is more than just a hand on your life. God's hand is that favor. It's love, provision, anointing, protecting, blessings, and anointing. So much more. Do you hear me? Don't let nobody stop you trying to stop your ground. Don't dim your life for insecure people or people that's not on what you want. You have to shine right like the sun. See, nobody can go up to the sun and pull the sun down. Not like a diamond because a diamond is an in an object. Nobody can go up to the sun and pull the sun down. The sun come up and come down when they want to come up and come down. Don't let nobody control your atmosphere. In other words, don't let nobody change your thermostat. In other words, you decide when you want to turn up and turn down to do this and do that. Yes, it's okay to get opinions for people, but you got to make the best decisions for your life and you got to live with you for the rest of your life. So you got to do what you got to do and take advantage of what you have and the resources that you have now. See, somebody, you may not have all the resources that you had in the past, but you got to recognize something. God will allow you to see that. Okay, cool. I'm not, I'm not working with too much like I used to be working with back in the day, but it's in me and not on me. So I know that God will make a way even when I do not see a way. So God will make you feel like you losing things or make you feel like it's destruction, but it's never destruction. Somebody is reconstruction. Your current situation, not your final destination. You got destination preaching that's to the top. Recognize everybody on the highway be going left, right, up and down the ramp here, there and the third. Right. But that means that they have their own destination to reach and you as well. You got destination to reach and that's to the top. Look at yourself like you putting your hand on the hot stove. Right. You instantly release your hand from that hot stove. Why? Because you're going to burn yourself. That's just like how God is telling you to release people, place, and things and of that manner that's no longer serve you. Because if you hold on, it'll burn you just like that hot stove. So you got to release. And know that when you do release, God will always replace what is releasing your life. And recognize it's not always people leaving your life or you leaving people's life. Sometimes God will remove you or remove them because God has more so for you. God has better for you. I said Jeremiah 29, 29 11. He got plans to prosper and no harm, plans to give you hope in the future. So you got to know he has better for you. Maybe that person will try to set you up in three to five years. Maybe that possession would not have served you. Maybe that car would have gotten to a car accident. Maybe that home was not where God needed you to be at because he wanted you to have something bigger. He wanted you to have better people. He wanted you to have better this, better that, better there. So it's never you losing losing nothing. You never lost anything. You really just gained everything. If God made you let go or release something, you will grow from it and he will always replace it. And even when the pressure gets turned up in the fire, even when you're reaching these new levels and having to conquer these new devils, even when the pressure gets turned up in the fire, just like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, the enemy threw them into the fire and the pressure got turned up on them. And they could have went with the wrong way. They could have went with the enemy and chose the enemy side, but they knew that God would bring them through. No matter what, you got to know that he will bring you through and he brought them through and he going to bring you through just like he did for them just like he said in the book of matthews do you think that birds and things of that manner gotta work 10 times as hard and do all the things that you be feeling like you have to do and and worrying and stuff of that manner no because they know that god will feed them and god will provide for them so you have to know just like those birds are it says in the bible are you not more important than them you have to know you are god's child you are his possession you are like this dark as michael 7 7 so it may appear as a structure but it's all about your thoughts and your words from your reality you got to know that i got to think life speak life think positively speak positively even when I feel low, 
you have to, in a sense, bless yourself. One more time, somebody. Somebody needs to hear this word. You have to bless yourself sometimes. You have to tell yourself who you are because just like we forget who we are at times or we allow ourselves to have an identity crisis due to the enemy or due to people feeding us things and us feeding ourselves with insecurities and doubt and worry and things that matter. We've got to recognize not adding years onto our life. We have to bless ourselves by saying who we are because God's not afraid to say who he is. He is the Alpha and Omega. He is the author and the finish. He is the almighty God. He is the most high. He is your father in Jesus. So just like he said who he is, I am that I am God. You have to speak who you are. I am a warrior. I am a fighter. I am a force to be reckoned with. Yes, you are a force to be reckoned with, and your God is an invisible force who moving on your behalf at all times. He give his angels charge over you, as he said in Psalm 91. He said, a thousand will fall over here, and ten thousand over there, but none shall come to thee. Nobody can touch you. No weapon that's formed can see y'all prosper. Any son that shall rise, tongue judgment can see y'all shall be condemned. Isaiah 3, 17. Touch not my anointing and do my prophets no harm. Psalm 105, 15. He said in the book of Luke, a knot on your hair on your head will perish. Nobody can stop your trying to stop your ground unless you allow it to. You have to know that you and God are connected y'all locked in you connect to the source nobody can come in and break your relationship with god unless you allow them to come in and break your relationship with god it's all about what are you allowing to affect you you gotta bless yourself don't feed yourself with things that not serve you what are you watching on social media because the eyes are the one to the soul are you watching things that are going to help you grow are you watching things and gaining information not just gaining the information but are you applying the information that you're acquiring are you knowing better and doing better are you going out into this world and you're making bad decisions are you reaping and sowing good seeds because the only way that you'll reap good seeds is if you're sowing good things into the atmosphere into the world if you, are you putting good things out because what you put out is what you get back what you reap is what you sow are you putting out good energy are you focused on what's going to serve you are you worried about the next person because worrying about people that's not on that that don't you don't have to worry about nobody you have to learn how to mind your business a lot of people don't know how to mind their business when they focus on other people comparison is people joy you have to begin to focus on yourself some more somebody it's your confirmation focus on you to focus on you comparison is people of joy they may be an evil person to you but god still see potential in them that's why they still here because everybody that's still here waking up every day has a purpose a dream a vision a goal admiration no matter how you feel about them no matter if you feel like they for you or not for you right no matter if they did you dirty no matter how dirty they did you you got no god said vince is mine psalm 94 let go and let god don't worry about other people and what they got going on somebody did you dirty they played their role everybody comes to your life they play a role everybody comes to your life they are part of your journey they have a purpose to serve in your life to teach you sometimes everybody not meant to be in life for a lifetime something meant for seasons reasons lessons of blessings and what you're going through right now is just for a season just like spring someone went to fall this too shall pass this the Lord. Hard times have lasted, Lord. Your current situation is not your final destination. Remember, you got destination resets to the top. 